Hi, this is Lainey Cameron, and I'm here for the last Instagram Live of the day, which is going to be with Kelly Duran, the author of Can't Take It Back. Can't Take It Back is a little unusual because it's an audio book. In fact, Kelly's book went straight to audio, which is really exciting. So if you're an audio book fan, this is one that you're really going to enjoy. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Lainey. I loved your audio book. And I've told several people that it's the book that got me into listening to fiction on audio for the first time. I just wasn't into fiction on audio until your book. And now I'm trying all kinds of audio books fiction. Oh, I love that. You know, I've heard that from a lot of people. I was, uh, I love converting people. I love audio books, which is one of the reasons I'm so excited to go with Audible. But to hear that I've converted people makes me so happy. And in case we forget to mention it, you did a longer episode on the best of women's fiction. I asked you to be my first guest. And so there's a 10 minute episode there. I'll put the link in the YouTube video when we post this as well. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks for having me. That was so great. It was, it was. So let's talk a little bit more about the book. It's been a month, two months since it came out. How long has it been? Yeah, almost two months, April 16th, it came out. So, so, yeah. so tell, folk, tell folks a little bit more about it. Yeah, so Can't Take It Back is really the story of, it's a, it's a celebration of female friendships. It's the story of four strong female friends who are bonded together, who are all basically facing a bit of a crossroads in their lives. They've all come to a different crossroads. And uh, like we do as women, they come together, they help each other. There's a few little um, moments thrown in there just for a little bit of shock. There's a little bit of uh, fun stuff in there. And um, it just kind of all, it's, I equated a little bit to Big Little Lies in terms of it being uh, intersecting storylines. And that's a really good example. And it kind of happens over the course of a school year as well, which is a little similar to Big Little Lies, yeah. but it's all about those relationships between the different couples in the books and the singles in the books and um it's fun it kept me engaged the whole way through i had a, a blast uh, reading it in my hammock up here on the on the roof that's awesome i wish i could listen to mine on a hammock on the roof in mexico that sounds like fun <laughs> so let's talk about how it's been since it came out have there been any like pleasant moments surprises reviews that made your heart sing tell me about the good stuff yeah, there's been all of those things. You know, for me, one of the biggest moments, like I know uh, when you have a real book, you unbox it, you get that moment of unboxing. For me, it was like the moment I first heard it. And all of these uh, wonderful narrators, characters to life, that was amazing. Um, first reviews have been awesome. Uh, you know, there's a couple of not so great reviews, but you try to forget those. A couple of uh, one stars with no information, but that's okay. Um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. People do that on Goodreads. People actually mark books one star to bookmark them to come back to later, which I don't think they realize it actually brings the rating of the book down. Oh, yeah, I'm up to that. I'll talk up to that. Because I'm all for, like, I know books are all over the map. You're not going to love every book, but give me some reasons if you didn't love it. But it's been, I mean, it's been weird. I think almost every author you've had on here that's debuted in this pandemic, it's not been the debut we thought. But the way that the book community has come together to support each other has been amazing. The writing community is fantastic. And the women's fiction writing community is just amazing. Talking of which, good lead in. It's Women's Fiction Day today. And I know you've got a special offer that you're making. Tell us about it. I do. So on my website, which is buykellygrand.com, I'm offering uh, one copy of the book, which is what, what we do as authors. We give away our book. But I'm also, to a women's fiction writer, I'm offering a, a first chapter in query critique uh, and then a one-hour Zoom session to go over some of the stuff we've talked about. So that's open, and I love some of the comments. I've asked people if they're, um, if they're women's fiction writers to give me a little bit of background on them, and um, it's so great. I just think it's just another way to connect with the community. Oh, that's awesome. And that's really generous of you. I know when I was starting out four years ago, I really needed that kind of help because I couldn't see yet in my own work what, what needed work and what was okay and what was ready to go. I actually went down yeah. the path of getting book coaching. That was how I managed to deal with that. Because yeah, it's hard when you're, when you're starting out and you don't want someone who's going to be super critical, right? Like that's the last thing that would be helpful is you want someone who could tell you what's working and where you can maybe put a little bit more energy. Yeah, I have had so much help along my journey from people, from critiques, from other writers be uh, beta reading for me and giving feedback. And without that kind of feedback and help, we don't get published and we don't we don't move forward in our journey. So I'm so happy to be able to help somebody else out on that. 
That's great. And what else can we talk about relative to the book? What else would you like to share about how the, the last month has been or any um, anything that surprised you? Like some writers have said today that the genre that their book got slotted in with Amazon, which is, you know, a big algorithm in the sky, was actually surprising to them where it landed versus what they thought it would land. Yeah, it's funny because mine landed in two categories on Amazon. One was friendship fiction, which totally makes sense to me. And, makes perfect um, sense. <laughs> that was good. And then another one was family life fiction, which was kind of interesting. And I, you know, each of them has a story about their family, but really the story is about friendship. So no huge surprises, I guess, for me. But um, yeah, it's just, it's been fun. I, it's always interesting, too, to watch um, the ups and downs of, of your, you know, you don't want to think about sales. You don't want to talk about it. But I'm always like, oh, look, I'm happy. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not going to. It's kind of a bit of a roller coaster. So, so I've been trying to distract myself by writing and working. I actually just finished my next book. So I just finished the first draft of the manuscript of my next book. So I, I was distracted for a long time. And now I'm going to get into revising and editing. And now I'm a little bit less distracted. And I'm thinking I should probably go back to being distracted. I do have to say, though, I, want, I, I bought this book the other day. Intuitive Editing by Tiffany Yates Martin. I think I learned about her from you, I'm going to say. I yes. Think you talked about this book. And talk about perfect timing. This book just arrived just as I finished my first draft. And I read through some of it. And it's guiding my editing and revising journey right now. And it's just amazing. I totally recommend it. Tiffany Yates Martin. Oh, I couldn't recommend it more. She was my, um, Tiffany was my developmental editor for my book that's coming out in a month. And yeah. I really was struggling with some things around character, you know, when you know what's wrong, but you don't know how to fix it. And so oh. like, she came in and she was like, Oh, here's exactly what you need to work on. And for her, it was so obvious because she's so experienced. Yeah. But um, I had the pleasure of being a beta reader for that book, book which is oh. a little meta to be a beta reader for a book on editing. And um, it's amazing. It's lovely. I love that it's all about compassion with yourself and approaching your book in layers and getting rid of all the rules that tell you what you can't do. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, don't start your chapter this way. And just asking yourself what's right for your story and tapping into your intuition. Totally. Yeah, it's really helping. I'm, I'm loving the process because I can't get together in person with my critique partner. So we're trying to critique over Zoom, which doesn't quite have the same cachet, but... Oh, yeah, that's a little challenging. We're all missing real life world, right? I'm missing being able to go to the bar with my friends. I'm missing being able to have a launch party where we all go have a few drinks together. I think that's the big thing, too, about my book. A lot of people have talked about listening. You can't take a deep breath. It's been nice escapism for them. I had a lovely review the other day where somebody said they could imagine sitting with these women and having a drink and just relaxing with them. And that's exactly what I miss right now. I'm missing my female friendships, like, to my core. I miss being with them. And so... It's kind of nice that I'm giving that to some people during this pandemic. That's a, that's a perfect way for us to wrap up. I can't think of a better way for you to describe your book <laughs> is if, if you're looking for female friendship and craving it, this audio book will help you kind of get back into that and enjoy that for a while while you're listening to it. So, uh, um, I love that you said that. So uh, remind us what it's called and where we can find you. Yeah, so the book I've actually got right here. Can't take it back. Yay. Uh, it's available only on Audible. So it's an Audible original, so only available as an exclusive audiobook, um, but it's awesome. And <laughs> you can uh, find me at buykellyduran.com uh, is my website with more information about it, or by Kelly Duran on pretty much every social media platform. Perfect. And thanks for getting together with me for Women's Fiction Day. Yeah, and thank you, Lainey. Thank you for everything you've done today for all of us women fiction writers. You've been amazing, as usual. We, you are the <laughs> goddess of women's fiction, so thank you. <laughs> You're so <laughs> sweet. It's been a fun day. It's been a fun day hanging out with people I already love hanging out with. So That's take care, awesome. Kelly. <laughs> See you later.